In this video, we're going to look at some of the basic text operations in Excel. In column A, we see some stacked text with the product ID, product description, and price all together. We can use Excel to do some text cleaning and then separate them into different meaningful parts. Now let's take a look. The first formula we use is called trim. Trim is very often used to get rid of extra spaces so that to ensure the text we have does not have invisible spaces around messing up our operations. The formula goes as follows, equals, so I'm going to trim the space, if any, on the text in column A. So I will type trim A4. So it's going to trim the text on the left, close, enter. And if you look at this trimmed text, it looks exactly the same. You cannot really tell any difference. But let's check. Here we're going to use a different formula to check the length of the text in cell A4 versus B4. So the length of A4 is equal to len, L-E-N, parenthesis. And then the text is in A4, close the parenthesis, enter. And uh, what we have is the length of A4 is 52. What about cell B4? Equals LEN, and then B4, parenthesis, enter. And in cell B4, there are only 50 characters. So there are extra spaces around cell A4 that has been removed. And we don't even see that, which is why this command is useful, because it removes the invariable spaces that can mess up our operations. And if you actually check in cell A4, you can actually see that there are two extra spaces at the end that have been removed when we apply the formula trim. And then we can copy this to all the other text. So next, we want to extract the product ID, which is the first characters in this text. Uh, we want to extract product ID from this. Once we count, we'll realize that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The first 12 characters here are product IDs. So what we need is the formula left. So the formula left will take the left characters from the text that we look at. Here we type in left, and the text we look at is in cell B4, and we want to take the 12 left characters and then enter. So as you see, this gives us only the product IDs. Copy this down. Next, we want to extract the price information. The price information is at the end of the text. And in this case, we have that the six rightmost characters are the pricing information. So equals the formula is right. We will take this text, comma, and then the sixth right characters, and then enter. And then we can copy this down. We have the numbers, but let's check what is the average price of these products. Equals average, and then select the prices and parentheses, enter. Well, something's wrong. What happened? So what happened is when you use these text formulas to extract text, it does not recognize what we have extracted here as a number. So this 304.00, it's recognized as a character or a string, a text. So what do we need for this to be recognized as, as a number, as price, 
is we need to add a formula around this. So what we're going to do is put your mouse cursor there. And the command we use is called value, and then parenthesis. So what the value does is it's going to convert this text. It's going to take the value of this text. So we're going to get a number once we put the value around it. Now let's copy this down. So now we can calculate the average price that is $418. So next, we want to extract the product description in this text. It's a little bit trickier. As we can see here, we know the first 12 characters are product ID. And then in the middle are the product descriptions. And the last, so the last six are the pricing information. So what we need is the middle character starting from the 13th up until without the last six. So what we are going to do here, we're going to use a formula called a mid. It takes the middle of the characters. Again, the text we use is in cell B4, comma. And we know that we're going to start from character 13 because the first 12 is, is the product ID and comma. And next, it gives us the number of characters we want to take. Uh, how many characters are we going to take? So we know that the length of this text in B4 is len B4. That's the total number of characters out there. And then we know that the first 12 minus the first 12 we know that the first 12 represent the product ID. We also know that minus 6, the last 6 are the pricing information. So the length of the character minus the first 12 minus the last 6 are the number of characters left that are the characters we want to take for product description. And then close the parentheses, return. As you see, this is correct. We got the product description, and then we can copy this, and we get all the product descriptions correctly. Next, we want to check what are the desktop products. So we're going to do equals. Here we're going to try to find the text desktop. We're going to use a command. We're going to use a formula called find. And the text we want to find is desktop and comma. So within the text in B4, and then close the parentheses, enter. And we get a arrow message says value. So let's first copy this down to see what happens. OK, so we see some numbers here. We see arrow message value here and here. So what the find command returns is if the command finds the text desktop, it's going to return the value of which character does it start. So we know the first 12 is the product ID, 13 is a space. So character 14 is where it starts to find the text desktop. So that's why it returns 14. If it doesn't find the text, it will return an error message that it didn't find the text. So in this case, the error message means it's not a desktop. And the uh, number, whatever number returns, it means it is a desktop because find has found desktop within the product description. So there's a way to get rid of the arrow message is to put another formula on it. The formula is called if arrow. Parenthesis. If we put an if arrow there, it's going to check whether the value from find is arrow or not. If it's not arrow, it's, it's going to just display the value. If it's arrow, then you can decide what to display. So in this case, we put a comma there, 
And uh, for value if arrow, we're going to put quoted nil and close the parentheses, enter. So what it does is if it doesn't find a desktop, it will return an arrow message. Instead of showing the arrow message, we'll just call it nil. And then we copy this down. So what do we get is if it's a desktop, it's going to return where the desktop character is found. If not, then it's just going to show no, it's not a desktop. After all this has been done, there's also a useful command that we use to, to put existing text together. And this formula is called concat. It's going to connect basically the text together. If you put in the text in cell C4, comma, in cell E4, comma, and in cell D4, it's going to connect these texts together to create a new text. So as you see, with concat, we now have put in a product ID, product description, and price information back together. That concludes this video.